Hi everyone, Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to my channel. So today's video we're going to be doing a little bit of a one sheet wonder. So I've done this only once before on my channel and I do have some 12 by 12 patterned papers um, and I do feel like I need to get them out just a little bit more and maybe even just to use them up really. Um, so I've got this paper pad here. So this is by the Paper Boutique and this is called Winter Gnomes. This is a card making kit so you can get lots of different um, uh, designs of this from the paper boutique they do some really fantastic kits this was last year's I'm sorry I don't know if any of this is still going to be available um, but you know you can just have a look online you might be able to pick up sort of different bits and pieces um, so I had the whole kit I had the 12 by 12 papers the 8 by 8s I had the toppers the inserts and the Kind of coordinating papers that went with it um like i said i have got one video on my channel where i did use this and i created a card and yeah i thought i'd just make some more christmas cards um and really kind of get through these kits they are winter specific so obviously i can really only use them this time of year um and kind of for christmas and things so um i could do with just kind of using that and i thought maybe doing a one sheet wonder would be quite interesting for you guys um and yeah would really sort of help me to kind of use up some of this stash so um, I've taken two papers from this 12 by 12 uh, paper pad. So they've got really beautiful papers in here and these really gorgeous gnomes. I've taken this spotted one and I've taken uh, this paper here, um, which you can see just here. So this has got a bow, it's got the gnome on there um, and it's got just the little poncettia with the Christmas tree as well. Really, really beautiful. So I'm gonna be doing a one sheet wonder, but I'm actually gonna be coordinating two of the papers together. So I've already cut down my uh, paper here. So there's lots of templates plates out on the internet uh, to show you how you can um, cut your cardstock down but to be perfectly honest with you you can literally just cut it in whichever way you want um, you know you can follow the designs uh, or the not designs sorry so the, the way with the measurements that you can trim them but basically it's just a way of using the whole of the uh, 12 by 12 piece of paper and just really getting the most out of it so I'm just sort of laying it out just to show you uh, kind of of what I've got so I did start off by following um, roughly some of the measurements and then I think I cut one side wrong so to be honest I just kind of decided to cut it up however I wanted but you can see here um, if I can just kind of bring this together enough you can see all of our different pieces so again I've done this um, a second time as well with our spotted paper and again these have ended up being you know if I just lay these over these have ended up being uh, completely different sizes um, but as I said I'm kind of okay with that I wasn't looking uh, to necessarily keep it all the same so my triangles should go this way um, so yeah, we're just going to see what kind of cards we can create. And some of these I've got slightly bigger pieces um, than what I have in the others. So we're just going to layer it together. So let's get into creating our cards. So I've got all of my elements together to make this card. So my first um, panel here, so this measures uh, five inch by four inch. Um, and then I took the strip. So I have trimmed this down just ever so slightly. This is now four and three quarters uh, by one and three quarters. So I've trimmed this down so it will fit on my card. Uh, so I've got a five by seven inch card. We're gonna have this landscape and I've cut a piece of this gray cardstock. So what I really love about these kits is their coordinating papers coordinate so beautifully uh, so I've trimmed this down so this is a uh, four and three quarters um, by six and three quarters so we're gonna have a nice little edge uh, on there so I'm just gonna take some double-sided tape uh, just to pop this piece down so let's add our first layer onto our card base like so so again I trimmed this um, strip down but really didn't trim it by much. Um, the idea is to use the entire 12 by 12 inch sheet I guess without having to trim it down but I'm still using it and you know just trimming off the tiniest amount to me really doesn't matter. So I'm going to add my strip just there. So I think what I'm going to do is add some dimension. On the back of this piece I am going to add just a little bit of uh, foam tape. Then we're going to add our panel just to that side slightly. 
So I'm going to cut a piece of foam tape. I'm going to cut this so it's slightly too long. So what I'm going to do is cut this little piece of foam tape just in half. And I'm going to pop that uh, on this edge just here so that it will support itself uh, just on that side. And then we can add some glue to that portion. So I'm going to bring that over as far as it will come. So for my embellishments, I'm just going to stick to two colours again, just to kind of keep it in with the theme. So here I have got the chalk stick in the vintage drops and I've got woodland green here in the uh, crystal drops. So um, this is going to be sort of slightly darker. Hopefully it's just going to fit in um, nicely with those dark tones. Um, but just to add some sort of finishing embellishment. I'm just going to add two little Nouveau drops uh, just onto there. And that is then going to be our first card all finished. So you can just see how easily these come together. Obviously, if you've got the pieces already there, it's super easy to do. So here are the elements for card number two. So I'm making a five by five square card. So this, making a smaller card is going to be easier if you've got smaller pieces. So I've got a piece of this sort of blue gray cardstock. This is a four and three quarters square. So then this piece here has been cut to a four and a half. Uh, by two and a quarter so that's gonna sit at the top then we've got this piece here this is two inch by uh, four and a half inch so again those were just slightly trimmed down just to fit onto the card I then cut a strip from uh, some of the striped paper uh, that's in the smaller uh, set so again I've trimmed that to uh, four and a half and that is half an inch wide so that is just going to bridge that gap uh, in between my two patterned papers so you can do that if you've got pattern papers which just don't quite fit then you know you can pop a strip on there I've taken then one of these circle toppers and I just took one of my uh, circle nesting dies from my stash um, found a circle that was just slightly bigger and then we can pop that on there um, just to give it a little bit of a matte and layer and then we do need to pop a sentiment which we can pop uh, just underneath but for the moment again let's get <coughs> these pieces stuck down so we're going to add our base flat with some foam tape so next I'm going to add some tape again just to have this flat so we can get it all sat nicely together I'm going to add some tape to all of my uh, strips here so the first thing I'm going to do is add my spotty piece to the bottom just sort of roughly where I think it would go if this was a sort of a full sheet then I'm going to add the top piece and what we want to make sure is that we don't have more than half an inch gap uh, otherwise then our strip uh, here is going to be just a little bit pointless um, but I want that to kind of sit on top as best as possible so I'd rather pop those two pieces down first, make sure they sort of line up nicely just down there. Take the tape off my strip. I'm gonna line it up at one end and make sure that it is nice and straight like so so there we have just that base and again this is just using up some scraps if you've got scraps of any design doesn't have to be part of a paper kit or anything like that but you know this is a great way just to kind of use those bits and pieces up so again I am gonna add this flat onto uh, its red mat and then we can use some foam tape to prop this up so let's pop our skating gnome on there like so. So it's gonna go kind of there. I want it to go nearer the top so we've got room for the sentiment. Let's have a look at what sentiment we are gonna use. 
So I'm thinking something maybe kind of in the blue grey tone just because we've got um, kind of a lot of that uh, sort of red happening. May or Daisy, Merry and Bright. I do like that one. Tis the season to be jolly. Uh, wonder and joy this Christmas. Sending you festive wishes. Sending you Christmas cuddles. Christmas is a time to make memories. I think I'm going to do that one because he is skating. Um, so I think that's going to work quite nicely. So I just trimmed down my sentiment. I've matte and layered that just with a really thin border uh, onto some of the um, sort of lighter cardstock there just to really help that stand out. And I think my card is going to look something like this. So again, I'm going to add some foam onto the back of my topper. And we can have him kind of just to one side. And then I'm going to add a thicker foam square to my sentiment just so that will stand up a little higher. And that's just going to sit nicely just there. And again then just to finish these off, let's just add a few drops. So I might do two white and a green one. We'll just add that green one just there, like so. So there is our second card finished. Okay, so element for card number three. Uh, so this one we're going and just adding some different papers into here. So again, we're gonna add this piece just flat to the card base. Okay, so then I've cut a piece of this striped cardstock only because obviously we've got a lot of pattern going on here. So uh, this piece is a five and three quarters square. This one is a five and a half square. Okay, so there we've got our striped piece down. So now this piece is gonna sit uh, just on that side. So now we're gonna add this piece just to this side of the card. Then we're gonna add this strip down the bottom. So this is a really fantastic way of just using up uh, different scraps that you have um, as well because you know you don't need to have sort of a, a piece that really fits your card. Um, you can just use basically whatever you've got. So I've popped a little bit of foam tape just on the back of this piece just to raise it up a little bit. And let's have that just going across there. And what I've done is I've taken one of these uh, toppers. Um, so this come from the paper pad. So this is sort of uh, thinner. But what I've done is, because I've got multiples, I've just die cut uh, that main piece from there. And I want to um, just build this piece up a little bit. So I'm just going to pop some of these uh, sort of scrap bits of foam tape that I've got just over the back so there's so much in these kits that you can do a little bit of decoupage um, and sort of double things up give it dimension uh, that will just sort of really help use your stash up so let's add that onto there so if you've got another one, you could do like the hand, the star and the lantern. You could add uh, as another layer as well if you wanted to. So onto my topper, I've popped three pieces of foam tape and just a little bit of glue. So we can pop that just there like that. And then what I did to do is take one of these sentiments and I just trimmed uh, this down just so we don't have sort of too much kind of space there. And I'm just going to add some foam pads uh, just to the back of this. So there is card number three. So again, we can just add a few Nouveau drops uh, just around this one, just like so. So there is that one done. So here are the elements for card number four. So this is a four inch by five and three quarter inch card. Uh, so again, I've got this kind of gray, cause I've cut into a piece. I'm obviously trying to use um, those uh, pieces 
uh, rather than just sort of cutting into lots of different pieces because the cardstock, the plain stuff, you know, I could absolutely use again sort of outside of this uh, card kit. So again, some double-sided tape on that piece just to have it uh, down. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of foam uh, to my spotted paper this time, just to add a bit of dimension there. So this is one of my uh, slightly bigger pieces uh, from this. So this is a three and a half inch uh, by five and a quarter inch. So again, I think I trimmed this down just height wise, just so it would actually fit onto the card. So let's pop that layer down. Then I've got a square. So this is just under uh, three inch and just over three inch. So um, not quite a square. Again, let's get just a bit of foam tape on this. So let's add this panel just to the top and what I've done is I've fussy cut out one of these gnomes this came uh, in the 12 by 12 paper pad um, so they came in as like a little embellishment uh, page so they come in these squares all I did was just fussy cut that out and he's just gonna sit really simply uh, on there so let's pop him just on there so we've got a lot of dimension going on uh, on this particular card then we've got our sentiment, so I've just trimmed this down slightly so we don't have kind of as much uh, white space. And let's just do one final piece of foam tape on the back there. So again, a really simple, simple card, but just using up the elements from this kit. There's our uh, sentiment. With just some Nebo drops just all around our little gnome there and I am going to add just some white ones just there like that so again a, quite a simple card you know there's really not much going on with it but again just using up some of that kit so that is our card number four okay so we've got the elements for card number five so I'm making another square card so this again is a six by six so here I've got just a piece of that coloured card again this has been cut to five and three quarters square. Uh, so I'm just gonna put this down with some uh, double-sided tape. Um, I don't wanna use glue at the moment because um, I don't want anything to kind of wrinkle my paper. And unfortunately at the moment, I don't have any uh, like tape runners. So tape runners of course would be much quicker, um, but we've got the double-sided tape. So for this particular card, I'm gonna be using the two triangles. So the idea is with these, obviously you can use one uh, per card, but I'm actually gonna use both of these. They're exactly the same size. So I'm gonna use them as kind of corner pieces. So again, I've just added some foam tape to the back of this. Um, just to have these flat so I'm gonna pop one into this corner and then the other into the opposite corner so what I was thinking about doing I did cut this strip so in the 12 by 12 pads they do do these strips I was thinking about adding uh, a strip down the center um, but it's kind of the same pattern as our paper here so I decided not to use it so this square here is four inch by four and a quarter inch and I've just popped some foam tape already onto the back of this so this is then gonna sit in the center just there and then I've taken one of these uh, square toppers I've just mat and layered it onto a piece of green card uh, and again I'm gonna add uh, just a couple of strips of foam to this so we can add our topper just on there. So we do have a sentiment already on there, um, but of course you can add other sentiments if we want. Um, and for my drops for this, I'm just gonna fill up a little bit of this space just down here. So I'm gonna do two blobs in both of these corners. And that'll just kind of help balance that space out just a little bit. And there we have card number five. 
So now on to card number six. This is another five by seven inch card. So I took the strip uh, that we had from this patterned paper. So this is just under three inch uh, by roughly about six inch. And then I took this piece, so I just cut it down. Um, so this one now measures sort of five and a half uh, by uh, two and a quarter. This one is now one and three quarters. Uh, by about five and a half just under so yeah this was one single piece so I just decided to chop that in half and then obviously I had this piece so I decided to go for a little bit of a banner design so all I did was just take a um, metal edge ruler and my craft knife and I just um, turned these into a banner so super easy uh, for that I've got again my cardstock this is four and three quarters by six and three quarters I've got a circle topper here and I've just added that onto a piece of green cardstock so again just using a circle die so out of all of the cards we've made so far and I'd imagine for the ones uh, that we've got left to make this is going to be the only additional uh, piece that I'm going to use this is the only die that I'm using everything else is coming from the kit and you can just use a craft nice pair of scissors whatever it is that you have and I've just cut down a sentiment as well so I've just added again some foam tape to this so you know if you have one of these kits if these are the kinds of cards that you like to create and you like buying the kits uh, if you are new to card making and you want to have a go something like this where you get everything that coordinates uh, it just makes for really easy crafting and it's a lot of fun not always having to kind of um, have lots of different tools and pens and inks and all things like that um, it's nice just to have a little bit more of a simple crafting session which is kind of what this is really um you know everything is here everything coordinates so I really don't have to think kind of too much about what it is that I want to pop onto my card so I've added some double-sided tape again to the back of these so I'm going to put one um sort of on that side one on this side with a kind of gap in the middle I've popped some foam tape onto the back of my main banner and this is going to cover that gap and all I'm doing is just lining up the edge uh, with the edge of my uh, coloured mat that I've got down here. That way then I can make sure everything is kind of lined up nicely so um, you know you can see that one under there just sort of adds something nice to it. I've popped a foam pad uh, just on the back of there to make this kind of the same uh, height. I'm just going to trim a little bit off this so I can get that kind of nice and straight. So that's going to go there. I can pop a little bit of glue then which is going to sit uh, next to here. So let's pop some glue on. And let's just move that over slightly. I've got that there and I added then just a thicker foam pad uh, just to our sentiment, which is gonna kind of just sit there. So there is our next card done. So again, you know, these aren't really very busy cards. You could add loads more to these, but I really like just the simpleness of these. And again, let's just add a few drops just do one there and we'll do one just that side of the gnome and that finishes card number six okay so card number seven I have got another uh, five by five inch square card here so I thought I would just branch out a little bit um, I was trying to use these corner pieces um, and try and create something a little bit different so we're going to do a twist easel card so again this is just a five inch square pre-made card base and what I've done is I've just scored using my scoreboard um, diagonally from the top right down to the bottom left and I'm just going to go ahead and fold that over and that quite simply is going to create our twist easel card so really really simple to create these um, and then to create your panels and your mats and layers and things all you need to do again is uh, cut a square and just cut diagonally so I've got uh, these sort of like chocolatey colour, um, sort of almost like a deep red maybe. I haven't used this colour on my cards yet. 
Um, but we're going to use this as our mat and layer. So I'm just going to add my first layer. So using glue, it's definitely a quicker process than using the double-sided uh, tape, but really it just depends what you sort of get on with. This long form glue, I quite like it. It doesn't obviously have that precision nib. Um, I have been trying to use this one, the Premier uh, Craft Glue Pen, but I find that maybe stuff doesn't quite stick as well as I'd like it to. Um, so I'm not, yeah, I'm not 100% sure on it, to be honest. But now we're going to pop on... Make sure we get these the right way around. So I'm gonna pop on our patterned paper. So this is, um, again, those diagonals that I cut. Um, that's gonna fit on there perfectly. And again, just all of these colors, um, you know, they pick the colors out of their designs for their coordinating paper. So everything just goes together so beautifully. So let's pop this one on. So should we get that lined up nicely? So then we have our twist easel. So I do like to decorate both sides of this because uh, you are going to see it. So for the inside, um, I've taken a piece. This is part of their inserts collection. So this is the one part of the kit that I haven't actually used sort of up until now. So these are the inserts. You get 40 sheets, 10 of each design. So these are following on from um, all of these really beautiful designs. I think I used one of the inserts papers um, in my card that I made previously. Um, and I made a big 8x8 eight eight inch card, I believe it was. And um, yeah, so I just um, used one of these, did a little bit of decoupage with it. So these designs are much bigger. These are A4. Uh, so these would fit if you just fold them in half into um you know one of those big cards but if not you can cut it down and yeah just create the big uh cards and then you've got these really lovely sort of designs on the inside but again because they're not faded at all uh, like some insert papers are you can absolutely use this actually on the front cover so this was one of the papers um, that I took. So all I did was I cut um, four and three quarter inch in to create just a strip and then I just kind of trimmed it down to be the right size. Um, so that's what I've got here. So with a twist card, when you have it up, you will see the um, inside of the card. So I do like to put a, a decorative paper or you know just something to add a little bit of interest uh, to the inside just so it doesn't look sort of plain at all so when you've got this up you are going to see that and this is a really lovely paper because it does still give you space to be able to write your message so next up i've got um this square i believe it is that's just over three and a half yeah so that is a square and then i took this topper here um matt and layered it just onto a piece of card so what i'm gonna do is with an easel card so that you have a uh, design that stands up i like to kind of you know add half of it and have half of it uh hanging over so that's what i'm gonna do with this and i'm gonna do it a little bit of an angle so i'm just gonna add some glue to the bottom kind of portion of this piece here so we're going to do something like that and what you want to make sure is that you don't get it outside of your card otherwise it's not going to fit uh, in your envelope just to hold that corner down and this is so this obviously isn't as um, strong as what this is now so when I add this uh, over the top it is just going to help kind of strengthen this uh, quite nicely so what I'm going to do so all I'm going to do again is just add some foam tape and then we're gonna have this at a little bit of an angle so it's gonna kind of i wanted it to look like it was kind of a picture almost so there we have it it's almost like a little photograph there which i think is lovely um so the last thing we need to do with the easy card is create a stopper so i'm gonna do that um from my sentiment so it's just gonna kind of sit in here and that will hold that up nicely so again i'm just gonna add a little bit of foam tape so you want to make sure that you have this uh taped up propped up so then uh your card will hold it um otherwise it's not going to have anything to kind of stop it. So yeah, make sure you prop that up on a little bit of uh, foam tape or, you know, cardboard, whatever it is that you use. So there is our twist easel. So 
Um, I am just slightly over the top there. That shouldn't matter too much. Just make sure that you don't come too far out of it. Just to make sure you don't get too many problems, um, you know, get it into your envelope. But even that, just pulling that out is a nice kind of front. And then, yeah, you lift it up. And so you've got that really beautiful paper underneath. Uh, and you've got your stopper there as well. So once again, we can just add some little drops uh, onto this. You can't really see too many of the um, white spots uh, on that backing paper. So I think I might just add some extra spots onto there. Let's do another one there. Just to give it a little bit of like 3D embellishment. Um, for that background paper. But there is card number seven. We have got a super easy to create twist easel card. Okay, so onto card number eight. So I've got here another six by six inch card base. I have got my mat and layer exactly the same as I've done in pretty much all of those other cards. Uh, so this has been cut to five and three quarters square. So let's pop our first layer down. And then what I did, so I was having a little bit of trouble getting these to kind of fit and work out a design that I really like. So I decided to cut these down. And again, so, you know, you can choose whatever you want to do for these, um, you know, uh, one sheet wonders, cut them to the sizes that you want. But, you know, equally, you can still cut them down from there. It gives you just a base to kind of work with. So it gives you some shapes and it just, it gives you a little bit of a challenge to see how you can fit it into a card. But for me, it doesn't mean that, that I have to keep it at those sizes. So. I did end up trimming these down because like I said, I did kind of struggle a little bit to get them uh, onto a uh, card. So I cut them down to two and a half inches square. So I had one um, sort of bigger piece and I've cut that, like I said, I've cut that down. So I've got two of those and then I've matted them onto um, a piece of this red cardstock that's two and three quarters square. So what I'm gonna do is add these, uh, on here just oops just like this um, and I did the same again for this um, red spotted paper as well so I'm gonna kind of have these um, like so I'm gonna use a little bit of liquid glue just this way I get a little bit of wiggle room here uh, to get this in the right spot so what I'm gonna do is kind of line it up with the edge of the card, kind of where I would naturally um, put it. Once we have one down, it's gonna make it easier to place the other ones. So again, just a little bit of glue. So I'm gonna kind of line it up with that corner and I'm gonna line it up as well with the square that I've already got down, like so. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other two. So there we go, some of my, uh, this square here, I think I ended up cutting on a little bit of a wonk, but that's okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. So what I've done here is I've just fussy cut out one of these um, little gnomes. So it's from these, uh, this is from like the topper sheet. Uh, so they do come like this, but you know, cut into it, use it how you want to use it. You don't have to use it exactly how it is, uh, you know, being presented to you. So I'm gonna pop that gnome just in that square. I have got my sentiment wonder enjoy this Christmas and what I've done the same thing again I've just cut two of these flowers this is one of the uh, eight by eight patterned papers um, so I just uh, cut out you know one of the flowers it was from the scraps uh, that I had left over and then uh, from this new sheet I did just cut one of the flowers off of the top so you know again you just use it however you want to use it whatever works best uh, for you so I do have a straight edge on both of my flowers uh, so I'm gonna end up just kind of tucking it in it's gonna end up something uh, like that so what I'm gonna do is as we've done throughout our cards is I'm gonna pop some foam tape on here now I really like using foam tape um, I think it just adds a little bit of uh, fun a little bit of dimension and it really sort of helps if you want to kind of people to focus on a certain area of your card um, so let's just add some pieces just down here so it is supported so let's pop our gnomes which our card is straight so his beard is going to be overlapping just slightly, but that's okay. 
And then, so let's add our flowers on first. So I'm gonna just pop a little bit of glue there. So that should be fine to kind of cover that. I'm gonna pop this one down here. Something like that. And again, then I'm gonna add a foam pad to our sentiments just like so so again using the papers we're cutting into bits and pieces and yeah I think it just it just really uses so much of this kit as I've kind of said you know through most of these um, cards so there we have our eighth card all finished there. So again, just using the papers, different orientations, different ways, different shapes, but you know, I think all of these are coming out really great. Okay, so for card number nine, we're gonna focus mainly on this kind of uh, paper here. So I was having a go with something else and I've um, die cut this using just that same circle nesting die, exactly the same size I've used in the other cards. Um, and I'm gonna be using the extra piece in the next card, um, but I wasn't really sure what to do with it. I wanted to use this paper as kind of the main element and this kind of size, yeah, didn't really fit kind of my card bases and things. So um, I've just die cut a piece out of that and I'm gonna use both of these, but say so that's gonna be the next card. This one I'm gonna use this circle circle piece here so you know you don't always have to put all of these toppers on um, if you don't want to you know the patterned paper really can um, just stand on its own uh, and be kind of that main focal point so that is what I'm going to do for this card I've cut up one of the um, inserts uh, so this has got a big gnome on the other side but I wanted to have that little flower uh, detail just to add a little bit more uh, interest that's gonna go up in the top uh, corner, just up there, like so. So this was my, so these are the, the last two pieces that I had, it's the last piece of the spotted paper, and say so this was then the last piece of this that I had. I have cut this down, just so I could make it kind of fit uh, onto this a little bit better. Um, and again, I've just added some foam tape just to the back of that. So I'm gonna line that up right on the edge just there and then I'm going to have this circle piece sort of just here so like I said going to be that main kind of focal point that one just there I've cut myself a sentiment as well may your days be merry and bright uh, I'm going to have that because I don't want to cover this gnome I've got this really lovely little gnome there and I don't want to uh, cover him so I might just put a little bit of this foam tape on the back just to help that stand out um i was planning to mat and layer it that might make it sort of stand out a little further if, if you don't think something um looks quite right and you haven't got any mats and layers i would encourage you to add that to your card it's the easiest way to kind of give your cards a little bit more of a professional look a little bit more uh, kind of finish you can see i've got my um green matte uh, at the bottom there but yeah that sentiment probably would have stood out just a little bit better um if that had that on there but that's what i'm going to do for that card so you know if you really have only got scraps left again a perfect way you know make the paper kind of the main focal point of this and again then i'm just going to add some nouveau drops onto here so this green, it looks quite bright um, when it's wet, but I do find that it uh, does kind of dry out a little bit. It dries back, sorry, a little bit. And it goes just a little bit uh, darker. So there is a really easy card number nine that you could do with just scraps that you've got left over. Okay, so card number 10. So as I said, using the scraps from here. So this is another five by seven card. We're gonna do landscape. Um, so I've taken this piece that I cut the hole from. So you can see it's, off centered but i'm quite happy with how that is again it was pretty much just a happy accident but i thought i'd have a go at using the um obviously scrap of this but this is one of the original pieces that i cut from my 12 by 12 sheet i've matte and layered that onto uh, some cardstock and i popped some foam tape on the back of that so once again um as we have done just using that patterned paper for our first layer so we can pop 
that first layer down. So then we've got this piece, I took this from the 8x8 inch pad, um, and so this is the rest of the paper where I um, cut out these little flowers from for one of our previous cards. So again, just kind of making use of all of, or as much of these papers and everything that comes included in this kit. So we've got that layer just there. So now we're going to add on this. Um, piece just here. So I'm going to buddy this up with this side uh, because we've got our little gnome poking out just there and then we've got just that little bit of detail in there. But of course because we've been using that same uh, die that we use to mat and layer our circle it means then that our top hit is going to fit in that perfectly. So I've added some bigger foam squares, these are the Chloe squares, uh, just so this will sit uh, higher than the piece underneath so I'm just going to make sure that I get that on there nice and straight so we've got quite a bit of dimension there's quite a lot of pattern going on here obviously you know you've got the gnome back there we've got this kind of full-on pattern and then this one here but um, it's nice to kind of use these papers together they do work well together that's obviously how they've been designed um, so it's nice to kind of get as much on a card as possible with it still looking good then I've just taken one of the sentiments with love and best wishes uh, so this has um, some foam squares on the back. I'm actually just gonna double up that end one because it is uh, coming off the edge. So I wanna make sure that that is nice and supported. So we're just gonna put two on there and I'm gonna have this sort of just there. And then that is our 10th card finish. So again, let's just add a few drops of our green so just like that add a little bit of embellishment and that like I said is our 10th card so here is a bonus card that I've made I really wanted to use this um, big gnome here this is from the insert papers I've just done a little bit of decoupage on there we've got one of those insert papers for that background we've got our sentiment on there and then just some of those white drops so that is my 11th card and yeah that is just a little bonus card using the kit so let's take a look at our finished card. So we've got 11 cards here. So I made 10 using the um, pieces from the sheets. Um, and then I just had that one kind of a bonus card that I made as well, uh, just because I wanted to do something a little bit different. So let's just take another look at the cards we created. So I've got two cards here. Um, these are both five by five inch, so square, super easy size. This one here was our twist easel card. I really love this one. It makes for just a different kind of card. Um, you know, it's gonna be different to what the recipients already have and it's just going to stand out really nicely and I just love all of those patterns the, um, the colours together I think it's just really really great a twist easel card is a super easy um, if you're looking to create a different style card this is a really really easy one to do then we've got our second five by five. So again, if you've got scraps, um, you know, you can just create a band to go in the middle just to bridge that gap. Um, that's gonna work perfectly. And again, then we have got our really lovely gnome skate in there. Um, I really love all of the pieces um, that are in these kits. So the next two cards, these are four inch by five and three quarters, so just not quite a four by six inch card. Um, again, if you're looking to create slightly smaller cards, um, you know, if you've got sort of smaller pieces left over, again, these are perfect. So, you know, taking that as a backing piece um, and then just using our lovely patterned paper um, in that background and just, you know, fussy cutting out that gnome, it works perfectly. You don't have to keep anything as it is. Um, and then just a really simple sentiment. And then we have this one, so a little bit more on the basic side, but using those pattern papers as those main elements, you know, you don't have to have the toppers and things, maybe you've used all of your toppers, you know, you can just use your pattern paper. So this one um, came from the uh, pattern paper, so you know, you can bring other papers in here, it's just the little elements, and we've got our little gnome in there. So yeah, if you, all you've got is scraps left, you can absolutely use those. 
The next we made three cards, these are all six by six inch, so again square, so you know, bigger so you can fit bigger elements on, um, but again really easy to kind of um, fill these kinds of cards, so again if you've only got small scraps, a card like this is going to be perfect because you're just using um, squares, so whatever size squares you've got, if you've only got really small, you know, you could do like um, nine squares on the card if you wanted to, so obviously I had big enough squares to just have four, but you could absolutely, it doesn't matter what size scraps you've got left, if you want to use them doing a um, kind of square grid card would be perfect again then I cut out uh, some of those poncettias from some of the other papers and we do have our wonderful little gnome there as well so again a really simple card I always find with these one sheet wonders these sort of triangles that you create um, a little bit more difficult to kind of um, use I think um, I do wish maybe I had popped that strip down the middle uh, just to kind of fill that in but I do think the green nouveau drops do sort of help fill that area a little bit but yeah I always find these pieces a little bit harder to use but again still a simple card you know, you've got that patterned paper in there and we've still got our gnome with our sentiments then we've got doing a little bit of decoupage, so again we've got more patterned paper, more pieces in here, um, so you know you could reduce this, you could add more patterned paper again, whatever scraps you've got left, but yeah just cutting into um, the toppers and just decoupaging it again. So if you wanted to really create a dimensional card or a dimensional topper you could take another one of these, you could add um, the hand, you could add the lantern, you could add the nose maybe um, on foam pads again just to help that stand out, so don't forget, you know, don't be afraid to use up the kit, so if you want to create a little bit of dimension cutting into your toppers and um, layering them up is going to be the easiest way to do that then we created we've got four cards here so these are five by seven inch cards um, so this first one here so this was my bonus card um, I really love this because I just love the size of it I'm really into kind of bigger things on the cards because you don't have to fill it quite as much but this paper or this gnome sorry came from the insert paper we created again a little bit of decoupage and again you could take this a step further we could have done the nose we could have done the poncettia there as well you could layer up the presents again if you wanted to don't be afraid to cut into your papers and then this background again was um, from one of those inserts papers, um, perfect for using on the front of your card. So that was our kind of bonus card um, that I wanted to create. But back to using our papers. So again, if you've got strips like this, again, if you just have scraps left over creating um, banners, you could do different angled banners and things like that. Um, but again, they make a really simple card. We've just got our topper there and then we just have a dimensional sentiment as well. So again, super easy. And now that my Nouveau drops have dried, um, this, uh, I think it was woodland green, I think it was, um, works really perfectly. It's a little bit of a deeper green than what we've got kind of in there, but it still works really nicely. And this was the first time I used the um, vintage drops. So these are the matte finish. And I really love how these white ones have turned out as well. So then we've got two landscape cards. So don't forget you can make landscape and portrait again depending on the kind of pattern papers that you've got this one here was where we die cut um, the circle for our um, card just here so this was the insert from that so again you know nothing goes to waste and then just pop in a topper in the center of that we've got another paper behind that's got that gnome on it again so really just making the most of um, all of these with their news sentiments and I think the sentiments are really lovely as well you've got different sizes um, you know and you've got so many of them as well so again you can kind of cut into them um, all like it is on that one just trim them down leave them as they are um, you know it's completely up to you you've got all of those options options there but again if you want to cut into pieces you know use those scraps this you know potentially could have just gone in the bin but we've managed to get this on a card and the last card here, this was the first card that we created. So I find that I always kind of start off with the most simple card. This is quite a simple card. It may be in comparison to some of the other ones um, that I've got in there. I sort of branched out, got a little bit more adventurous with them. Um, but this, you know, if you're a little bit daunted about sort of starting a project like this to create lots of cards, you know, start with something simple, start with a simple design and kind of build up from there. You'll kind of get into the flow of things. You'll get into um, a sense of, you know, what it is that you um, want to do. You're a little bit further and further you know and just creating sort of things uh, like this so this is one of the last cards that I made this was the first so you can see that I kind of stepped up a little bit I brought a little bit more paper into it and things so starting off with something simple just to get you going is a really great idea so they are the 11 cards I created with this um, gnome kit. 
I really love all of these cards. These are going to be um, part of my Christmas cards uh, for this year. Um, so again, 11 cards and I've still got tons and tons of that kit left as well. So um, if you are into kits, I would strongly recommend looking. These kits by Paper Boutique are going to be absolutely perfect for you to get started. Um, you have everything in there that you need in terms of toppers, sentiments, everything like that. All you need to add is just some cardstock, some embellishments if you want to. And the only other thing that I bought in, the only other product I had in here uh, was that circle uh, die just to be able to mat my toppers. But I literally didn't include any Ethan other than that and just say those two bottles of Nouveau drops so I hope this one sheet wonder has been helpful to you if you have patterned papers you know I hope this encourages you to go and use them if you've got any kit things lying around you know use them put them together create different cards you know you could recreate the same card over and over again but I've shown you here you can create um, if we take out kind of my bonus card you know you can create 10 cards just using two sheets of uh, 12 by 12 papers to help kind of get you started and then just add some toppers it could be that you have some 12 by 12 patterned papers and you know you have a particular stamp set you want to use or you know you have some dies obviously you know this can be used not just with kits you can use this with anything that you have in your stash and like I said having that di those different shaped papers is really useful just to kind of get you a little bit more creative and then you do sort of look at different ways of kind of using those papers coming up with a different design so hopefully you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section down below if you did I do have other patterned papers and in different sizes as well um so if you're interested in any more videos like this let me know in the comment section down below if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up